for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel so cancer in the well what we have for you your oracle advice is retreat and trust so with retreat with retreat it's saying it's time to disconnect from the world then trust on the flip side of this card it says the more we follow our intuition the more we find that the right doors open to assist us in fulfilling our life's purpose. So, Oracle Advice is saying retreat, disconnect from the world, and trust at the same time. Maybe you're having some thoughts and instincts that it's time to just do you. You know, take time for yourself. Or maybe with your special person. Uh, maybe that's what your mind is telling you, need, you, telling you that you need to do right now. So follow your instincts right now. That's what trust is saying. Um, the right doors will open once you do that. And it will help to fulfill your life purpose. So what a beautiful thing, Cancer. Now let's move on down and take a look at what's going on for the recent past. So for the recent past, we have the Chariot, and then we have the Five of Wands. So the Chariot, it's about having a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled. It's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. When this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve, and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Keep in mind, this card, it points to determination and ambition. It's about getting things done, testing, and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind. And, well, that's probably what you did in the recent past, since that's what we're talking about. So you should have moved forward with whatever you had in mind and give it your best shot. Remember... You'll need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. Now that's for you in the recent past. And when the chariot talks about love and relationships, it's possible that you could have been tempted to go too far too fast with someone in the recent past. Now that someone, someone could have been, could, someone could have been pressuring you that way also. Either way, Communication would have been the best thing to do and set your boundaries and preferences and be honest with yourself and about all the possibilities. If you are not, well, if you were not interested in a relationship with someone at that time who you know clearly wanted one with you, then the kindest thing would have been to do is to let them know that you just were not interested. The short-term anger or hurt that this could have caused in the recent past, it would have benefited everyone in the long run. Now this chariot card, it's paired with the five of wands. Now this five of wands is about competition. Usually this is work or career, but it could go family, romance. It could go either way, but usually it's work, career. Um, sometimes it does mean romantic rivals. So in the recent past, you should not have been afraid of competing at that time. Because you should have known that you have something to offer and you can be successful too. But you would have had to try to see results. When this card appears in a reading as it is, you need to believe. The need to believe in yourself would have been stronger than ever at that time. So you also would have needed to hold your head up high. Have faith that you would have ended up in the place that was right for you at that time. You may be thinking of maybe a possible career change you were thinking of, something like that at that time, you would have just had to know that you would have been successful at that too. So when it's talking about love and relationships, this five of wands, the person that you had your eye on at that time, they were probably being pursued by several people. If this was the case, you still needed to give it your best shot. You needed to know that you had done all that you could do for the relationship where your heart was involved. This can also work the other way around, meaning that you were being pursued by several interested people romantically.
So with these two cards paired together, for your recent past, the Chariot and the Five of Wands. Um, well, with the Chariot, it's, like I said, it's not a free-for-all, well, it's about a lot of energy. And it's not a free-for-all energy. So you have um, some type of goal, some type of plan, and you're ready to move forward with your hopes and dreams. Yeah, you're ready to... You you are ready to take off and and make make plans, make your dreams happen. You were very determined at that time, and you had a lot of ambition. Um, but what stood in your way was some competition in the recent past. There was some competition, and um, uh, you needed not to be afraid. Like I said, and just know that you have something to offer. So that was a struggle for you um, in the recent past. Yeah, that was a big struggle for you, but because you were ready to push ahead with something, uh, you probably had a lot of plans and a lot of dreams, but this competition stood in your way. But you needed to know that you'd end up in the right place and hold your head up high. But it was it was in the way, some type of competition. So that's that's a recent past now. Uh, Cancer, let's move on to the present time. We have the King of Wands, and then we have the Sun card. Now, this King of Wands, it indicates a man. He'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. This man will want to be a mentor for you. Now, this King of Wands, it's a very positive card in the tarot. Even when it's not representing a man or actual person in your life, it signifies that men around you, they they're generally supportive of you and think very highly of you. You'll be feeling ambitious and goal-oriented. And furthermore, you will have the will to accomplish what you have in mind at this time. So just think positive. And that's with the King of Wands. Now, it's paired with the Sun card. There are likely... Well, things are likely to be going really well for you with the Sun card. However, even though... Finances are likely to be in good shape when you get this card in, in a reading. That does not mean that you should lose focus on what is truly important in life. And money is maybe not very high on the list. That's what it's. That's what the sun card is about. Uh, money is not very high on the list. Um, this is a good time to socialize, meet new people, and to get out and about. Get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card can signify that it's right around the corner for you. So with these two cards paired together, the King of Wands and the Sun card for your present time, um, there's a man that's coming towards you or he's in your life already and he wants to mentor you. So there's someone that um, is very determined about you. They're determined for you. Uh, they're supportive and they think very highly of you. Um, your finances with the Sun card is gonna gonna take off in a really good way. Uh, if the, if it's good already, it's gonna be better. So try to stay focused and not lose um, focus on what's truly important in life. And the Sun card, it's saying money is not very high on the list, but <laughs> I don't know who that is for. But that's usually what the sun card says there's other things that um you should focus on too uh, we all know that money is important so uh but this man he'll want to be very helpful to you very helpful to you and um uh you'll be happy about it um uh, this meant this mentor it's going to bring you a lot of, it's going to add a lot of, this person's going to add a lot of sunshine to your life. A lot of joy. That's what these two cards are saying together. Okay, so let's move on down. Let's take a look at the challenge. And we have the Seven of Swords. And at the top, it's the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You have a lot on your plate that you must accomplish. Dedication to the task at hand. It's going to be important at this time. Also, admire. 
but working for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles can indicate a very, very, very hard work period. This does not have to be a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. So the Eight of Pentacles is here with the Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords can point to someone who's behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes also means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, you're probably right. If you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. So for your outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. No, no, not the outcome. For the challenge, I'm sorry, I'm moving ahead. I'm moving too far ahead. Sorry about that, Cancer. For the challenge, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Now, you're working really hard, or you're about to, to take on a lot of duties, something, okay? And um, you're going to have to strive for balance, okay? Maybe it's something you're very passionate about, you, it, you're motivated to do it, you're inspired, and it's causing you a very heavy work period. Okay, but somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you with, with this heavy workload. Uh, it doesn't look like they're giving you much of a hand either, but they just want to, somebody's nosy. They want to see why you're working so hard. What's the motivation? What's, what you, why are you so passionate about this? Why, why are you going so gun ho What, what's got you so inspired? Somebody want to know. Somebody got their nose up in your business, Cancer. So, yeah, they want to know what's going on with you. That's what the Seven of Swords is. Um, yeah, so, I can't tell you. I wish I could tell you who it was and why, but you probably already know. You probably have some type of... Some type of um, your intuition is probably telling you, you know who this is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know who it is. I don't know why they're doing it, but uh, it looks like you're, you're just working really hard. It's not like you're doing anything criminal, but uh, someone wants to know more. So that's what we have for the challenge. Now let's move on down to the outcome finally now the outcome we have seven of cups and nine of cups now the seven of cups is seven of cups is about choices it could indicate confusion and even also to the point of disorganization and having too much going on this card it points to need to narrow your focus and you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well so Try to just choose a few important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You could be feeling overwhelmed about something. Remember that you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Now the Seven of Cups is paired with the Nine of Cups. Now the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as a wish card. It can mean that you're... It can mean that what you're hoping for and dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. With the appearance of this card, it's usually a portent of happiness, good things that are about to come. Also, it usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. If you're asking a yes or no type of question, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. But like everything else in the tarot, um, it's not carved in stone. You know how the tarot goes. One week it says this and then the next week it says something else. Because the energies shift. But um, as of right now, you've got the Nine of Cups. For now, it's a yes, okay? Um, that, okay that means you're, you'll be blessed and satisfied with this Nine of Cups. Plain and simple. 
All right, and so with these two cards paired together for your outcome, Seven of Cups and Nine of Cups, uh, you're still you're going at this work. You're going at it, you're still going at it hard. It's in your outcome, and we just talked about it in the challenge. So you're still working hard, and this hard work is it's paying off because uh, your finances are probably looking good, but it's causing some confusion to the point where you're, you're getting disorganized. Okay, or it is not the work; it's something else that's causing confusion. And you need to narrow your focus. You've got too much on your plate at this time. Now, with the Nine of Cups, um, you can make some wishes. It's a wish card. Um, you can make a wish. You could dream, and your dreams will be yours in a very short period of time. It's a very blessed and satisfied time for you. But you, you really need to narrow your focus because... Um, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So yeah, this is, I'm thinking of it's this heavy work period that's it's carrying over to the outcome, like I said. And um, yeah, it's a blessed time for you. Your finances must really be looking good with all this work or something. Something's, something's going to... Um, make you feel really blessed and satisfied with this nine of cups maybe it's not the work maybe it's something else um i don't know what it is maybe you um leave us a comment and let us know what happened that was made you feel so blessed and satisfied blessed and satisfied 